In the snowmobile business, there is a reality, a strong reality that must be understood. And for the most part, it must be adhered to. What is that reality? The reality is that all Yamaha snowmobiles must be four strokes. Okay, in the past three years, there has been a move to two-stroke power in the Yamaha product profile. That being said, the mighty 998 Turbo and the 1049cc Genesis four-stroke triples still represent the central theme from the Yamaha's snowmobile division. It cannot be denied, since the arrival of the RX-1 in model year 2003, Yamaha has been on a mission to bring four-stroke power into the mainstream of the snowmobile business. Interestingly, they have been exceptionally successful at accomplishing this mission. So here it is, a paradigm-shifting snowmobile from Yamaha. It is the Transporter 800 two-stroke. Let's unwrap the Transporter 800. This sled is built on Yamaha's wide-spaced A-arm chassis and uses a 165 horsepower class, 800cc semi-direct injected two-stroke twin for power. This is an impressive lightweight power plant, which when combined with a 153-inch, 2.25 lug, 15-wide shoe, can literally jump on top of deep snow. Unique to the Transporter versus Yamaha's other two-stroke powered mountain sleds is a highly effective flip-up rear skid. So this flip-up rear skid is a very unique feature. This part of the rear suspension between that tire and this tire is actually movable and has a torsion spring keeping pressure on it to keep the back wheels down. When you want to back this snowmobile up, this works like the front of the track with an angle of attack and it makes a huge difference. You can back up like crazy in deep snow, hard pack, doesn't matter, it works great. So we've exposed the use of a two-stroke engine in a Yamaha. The question is this, was this the right thing to do with the transporter? Decidedly, yes. This sled is a lightweight powerhouse, workaholic snowmobile with a strong dual purpose identity. The lightweight power of a big bore two-stroke engine is unrivaled when navigating deep snow, towing a loaded sleigh, or dragging a fish hut onto your favorite lake. Here's a clue that the transporter is really effective in deep snow. It has Yamaha's full-on mountain skis set at a 38-inch center distance. They're very effective. Stuff which speaks directly to the transporter's dual-purpose personality are a large cargo rack with a sturdy fence for tying off cargo and a standard tow hitch. As well, there is an attractive and functional full-height windshield. While the seat is comfortable for one, it is not a full-on double saddle. That being said, it can accommodate two if necessary. Because the transporter is relatively light, its standard e-start does not compromise the sled's flotation. The transporter does not use a torsion bar, or more commonly known as a sway bar, or an anti-sway bar up front. This gives a clue to its deep snow capability as well. It makes it much easier to side hill in deep snow without a sway bar. The transporter comes with a highly desirable extra large 12.3 US gallon fuel tank, which provides for worry-free all day runs through the backcountry. The transporter uses Yamaha's dual piston caliper, drive axle brake for powerful braking on hard packed snow. Here's a question for you. Do you think the transporter is enough utility and enough recreation to satisfy the needs of a buyer who's looking for a snowmobile that will do more than just one thing? We think the answer is a very credible yes. The transporter is not only powerful, it is fast and fun to ride all day. While its 2.25 power claw track may be a little tall on certain snow surfaces, standard scratchers can be unclipped and used effectively when it gets icy. In a snowmobile marketplace where ever increasing MSRPs are shaping buyers' preferences, the new transporter sets a standard for dual sport performance that quite frankly is impressive.